so good morning to all my dear students and all the viewers in this my first lecture one myself mr gopabandhu ghadai uh, senior lecturer mechanical of bose kotak today my topic course name is power station engineering of six semester mechanical also it is a, a common subject to other branches like mechanical production mechanical integrated mechanical maintenance mechanical automobiles so this is a common uh, <coughs> course for all mechanical and other allied branches you know power station engineering uh, can be defined as a power plant engineering where steam is used to drive the turbine or the prime mover and that turbine rotates the generator shaft and we get the electricity so this is the uh, uh, aim of the power station engineering and today i will start from the uh, unit 2 that is thermal power stations so in this thermal power station will include it is included about the layout of steam power stations steam power cycles first is canard cycle another the real cycle which is used in the steam power plant that is called rankine cycle and then we will solve some numericals on above problems uh, above cycles so before going to details you know how the steam is produced in boiler and the quality of the steam it is already covered in uh, your last semesters the dry steam wet steam saturated steam and uh, superheated steam so that steams are the working fluid in the uh, steam turbine or the in the thermal power stations in odisha you will find and the national Th thermal power corporation uh, in talcher konya this area that is the super thermal power station where the output is 500 megawatt in odisha in earlier uh, 60s the Talcher Thermal Power Corporation was producing electricity and that is used uh, for our state. This thermal power station can be designed uh, by taking heat from other sources. So, one is your coal based thermal power station, another is uh, your nuclear power plant where the nuclear uh, <coughs> reaction gives heat to the uh, boiler and we get the steam that is called nuclear reactor. So, which we will discuss in the next lecture, uh, but here another uh, design is your uh, heat getting from the diesel uh, power plant that is known as diesel power plant so that is included in your thermal power station where diesel uh, combustion of diesel like your uh, diesel engine we get the heat and that heat is utilized in the boiler and we will get the steam that steam again goes to the turbine then from the turbine we uh, it go to the after expansion we get the mechanical work in the turbine which that is also called as a prime mover that means it produces mechanical power that power is utilized by the generator and we get the electricity so that unit is called turbo generator diesel next is your uh, gas turbine power plant where natural gas is used as the heat source and to 
produce steam from the water. So, like this the thermal power station are designed in various uh, ways that is your first is your uh, this thermal power station which is coal based, another is nuclear power plant, another is next is diesel power plant and another is gas turbine power plant. These are common and called as thermal power stations. Today, we will discuss uh, about the, the thermodynamic cycles of the thermal power plant, which is your uh, coal based power plant that is not diesel nor nuclear, but the first is your thermal is your coal based power plant. We will discuss in details and what are their uh, theoretical cycle or the thermodynamic cycles of the power plant. So, I have pro prepared a PPT and we will go one by one. Next is your uh, layout of steam power station. Before going to another uh, important data, I want to produce to you for a better interest. One is the installed power capacity the total in India the our total production of electricity is 390 point seven nine gigawatt up to recent data October twenty one. So this is the total production of install power capacity of our country. And again India is the fourth in wind mill wind power from which you get the electricity like a steam turbine the, the wind tur mill will produce the mechanical power and that here is the air is the working fluid and we generate the electricity by generator similar to steam turbine here the only difference is wind. Wind will rotate the uh, turbine that is called wind mill that turbine is primary is called wind mill and that wind mill generate uh, electricity by giving mechanical power rotation rotational power to the generator shaft. Another is we are fifth in uh, solar power solar power the solar power plant which produces uh, that is direct electricity from the photovoltaic cell we get direct electricity from the sun that is your one advantage that solar power we are in fifth in the world and this uh, uh, solar cells is available in nowadays you can use in your home also for the generation of electricity that is a direct conversion of one energy to another energy that is solar energy to electrical energy. But in other cases, there are indi indirect conversion. That means the heat energy uh, is converted first work by the turbine. Again, that turbine, the production of the output of the turbine is the input to the generator where it gets electricity. That means it is indirect method for getting electric electrical energy. But this one solar power plant where you get direct electricity from the sun rays. Another uh, we are also fifth in the renewable source re renewable L just like your uh, uh, hydroelectric power plant that means those are not exhausted they are uh, uh, available always that known as renew renewable energy power plant. In this case like hydro power plant or a hydel power plant, uh, geothermal power plant that is your 
renewable source of energy. Tidal, tidal you know the in ocean the tidal uh, produces and that from the tidal you can get the electricity. In, in this area we are fifth. If we take the statistics uh, of the coal based power plant, here I want to mention the thermal power capacity from the coal. Coal you know coal the uh, solid fuel from that which uh, after combustion we get heat and that heat is utilized in the boiler to produce steam. That's in that uh, power plant where the uh, money in Odisha in Talcher will find that coal based power plant because in the coal based power plant coal is the major fuel and uh, available to water also important because water is the working fluid in the thermal power plant. So, that both are available in Talcher area. So, we'll, most of the power NTPC and our uh, other power plants like Nalco, Capti power plant will get their coal based. Also in uh, our Eve Thermal in Belpahar, Jhasura district will also get where coal is available in plenty we will get the will install coal based power plant. From the coal based power plant we are getting this much of uh, power production it is 202.41 gigawatt up to October 21 this is the data and from the gas power plant gas turbine we'll get, we are getting 6.26 gigawatt up to October 21 2021 from the diesel we are getting diesel power plant which we where you will find as a standby power plant in every office nowadays which will gives interrupted power supply to office any cinema hall anywhere where it is a diesel power plant and it will also it is a available in movable condition. So, uh, this is the uh, diesel in from the diesel we are getting 0 0.50 gigawatt, 0 0.50 gigawatt from the diesel power plant. In India, many states having this power plant where coal is not available, like in your Jammu Kashmir, in other states where coal is not available, they are using diesel as a source of, elect source of electricity. And from the hydraulic power plant or hydro power plant like our Hirakud Dam, which is probably is a hydro hydroelectric power plant. From that we are getting 46 in all over India, 46.51 gigawatt. That is the from water, that is a hydroelectric power plant. And the most uh, uh, source of heat is nuclear or uh, nowadays nuclear fission where you, there is no uh, pollution but that you will get a pollution in a coal based power plant that you know as of the coal uh, and uh, how it is polluting the environment. But in nuclear power plant will, there is no pollution free, there is pollution free with that from that source the nuclear source or the nuclear power plant in India, their share is production of electricity is 6.78 gigawatt. If you add all these, we will get this much of our production in India uh, from different power plants. Your thermal power plant gas power plant, diesel power plant, hydroelectric power plant, solar power plant, windmill. So, you totally our production is this much and we are also third in the world in the power production. Third largest producer and also third largest consumers in India. The consumers 
quantity also very high that is third in third largest consumers in uh, all over compared to other state countries. So, now we will go to the our syllabus. So, first in the unit is 2.1 that is mentioned to you have to read layout of steam power station layout that means what are the components and uh, how they are laid down in the and uh, the unit is mane ye thermal power plant is made by taking all these units first one is your boiler you know boiler also known as steam generator steam generator which produces steam uh, continuously from water at high pressure and high temperature and the heat content of the steam which is you know called enthalpy total heat of the steam is known as enthalpy that enthalpy uh, it is reduces by after expansion to uh, by expansion we get the work done that means the heat energy is converted to mechanical energy in the turbine. Turbine this turbine uh, is known as prime mover you know we will read the details in the turbine you uh, will find what are the starter blades turbine blades turbine shaft so and also turbines are classified by three types high pressure turbine uh, intermediate pressure turbine low pressure turbine so i have shown only one turbine for a simplicity so uh, this is the turbine is mentioned here turbine this is this first is boiler we are going in this clockwise manner from the, it is produces steam. Here steam is at high pressure, high temperature enters into the turbine. Here it enters and after expansion, so this is the symbol of expansion that means volume increases in this manner, volume increases and uh, we get the work done. So, here the tur turbine blades are there. In the blade, the turbine fluid the steam uh, uh, passing through the turbine blades it with that is the reaction force is produced and uh, that kinetic energy uh, the velocity of uh, from the boiler actually there is a nozzle in the nozzle uh, this heat energy is converted into kinetic energy and in the nozzle the heat is produced that means nozzle is also a part of the turbine that is why it is not mentioned here steam nozzle the steam boiler uh, steam enters into the steam nozzle where the steam <coughs> accelerator or the velocity of the steam increases that will get the kinetic energy and that kinetic energy uh, when passed through the turbine uh, that uh, kinetic energy is converted into mechanical energy that means uh, it will get produces force that is due to, due to change in momentum so you get the force that is a change in momentum that uh, mass of the steam into uh, your uh, vw1 plus or minus vw2 that is your force mechanical force produce and if you give the uh, radius multiplied radius you get the torque the torque into angular velocity that is your mechanical power or a, you know as BP a break sorry break break power that break power is uh, transmitted to the generator shaft by here is there is a coupling this is the coupling the this is the turbine shaft and this is the generator shaft they are coupled together and they, the total unit is known as uh, turbo generator set TG set and this is called generator or it is also known as alternator. Here the AC current is produced alternate current so that is called as alternator 
and this is the symbol of the generator and we will get the electricity three phase supply that means we get the output as electrical energy. So, which is our uh, essential nowadays without electrical energy you cannot run any office or any plant anything cannot run without electricity. So, which is very much in a domestic as well as in industrial purposes everywhere electrical energy is a need. So, therefore, this power station engineering is a very important chapter uh, subject for both mechanical engineer and electrical engineers, because it is the same electricity is produced, but, but this is common to both branches. This is very important and it is where we will get some uh, and by a the domestic domestic consumers will give you the uh, bill jom ta ami bill ami electric bill payment karuche and ta dwara kette amaro amaro generation revenue asuchi that it is also is a part of in development of the country so this power plant also like steam power plant steel power plant eh, sorry steel plant and other nalco aluminum plant this is also this plant also is a uh, revenue generating organization that means we, from this we are getting a uh, fund for the development of the country and state so for all citizens of the country so it is very important uh, like steel power plant Nalco aluminum power plant, anything. So, this is also very important subject. So, then after turbine, the steam is exhausted, that means pressure reduces. Suppose here it is 150 uh, Pascal or mega Pascal, 